Ever wondered how airplanes are designed and built? It all starts with an idea. An idea sparked by necessity and fueled by innovation. The birth of an idea is not a sudden flash of inspiration, but rather a meticulous process, a dance between imagination and reality. In the world of aviation, these ideas are the seeds from which towering giants of the skies are born. Picture a group of engineers, designers, and aviation enthusiasts huddled together, their minds teeming with concepts and possibilities. They're the modern-day da Vinci's, the Wright brothers of the 21st century, and they're dreaming up the future of flight. Much like a sculptor chipping away at a block of marble, these visionaries start with a wide array of ideas, slowly whittling them down to the most promising, the most revolutionary. And while every idea has potential, it's only those that can withstand the rigorous tests of practicality and feasibility that get to take flight. What inspires these ideas? You might ask. Well, it's a mixture of technological advancements, environmental concerns, and market demands. As technology leaps forward, so too does the potential for more efficient, more powerful aircraft. Meanwhile, the urgent need to combat climate change pushes these innovators to seek greener, fluty, more sustainable ways to conquer the skies. It's not just about creating the fastest or the biggest airplane anymore. It's about creating aircraft that are kinder to our planet, that can cater to the evolving needs of a rapidly changing world. And let's not forget about the market. Market demands play a pivotal role in shaping the future of aviation. From the need for more fuel-efficient planes to the desire for more comfortable, luxurious travel experiences, the market's voice is heard loud and clear in the drafting rooms and design studios where these ideas first take flight. So the first step in the creation of an airplane is the birth of an idea a visionary concept that aims to push the boundaries of aviation. This is where it all begins, in the minds of the bold, the curious, the dreamers, and the doers. This is the birth of an idea. Now that we have an idea, we need to give it shape and form. This is where the magic really begins, the process of transforming a concept, an idea, into a tangible, practical design. It's a journey that starts with a mere sketch on a piece of paper, a pencil, a ruler, an eraser, and a bunch of lines that gradually begin to look like an airplane. These initial sketches are rough drafts, blueprints of what's to come. They capture the essence of the idea, the basic structure, the fundamental principles. But a sketch is just the beginning. It's the seed from which the design grows. To bring this design to life, we turn to technology. The rough sketches are scanned and uploaded into computer-aided design, or CAD, software. This is where our airplane begins to take a three-dimensional form. The sketch becomes a model, a virtual representation that we can rotate, flip, dissect, and examine from every angle. Software plays an invaluable role in refining the design. It's a tool that allows us to tweak and adjust to fine-tune every detail until everything is just right. The wingspan, the position of the engines, the shape of the tail, every component is meticulously crafted and adjusted. We can experiment with different materials, examine the flow of air around the wings and fuselage, and simulate the forces that the airplane will experience in flight. But the real power of computer-aided design lies in its ability to conduct initial tests. Long before a single piece of metal is cut or a single rivet is hammered, the design undergoes rigorous testing in a virtual environment. We can simulate turbulence, extreme temperatures, high winds, all the conditions an airplane might face in the real world. It's a risk-free way to identify potential issues and address them to ensure that the final product is as safe and efficient as possible. The transformation from paper to computer not only gives life to the idea, but also allows for rigorous testing and refinement. It's an intricate dance between creativity and technology, a dance that brings our ideas to life and shapes the future of aviation. With a computer model ready, it's time to step into the real world. Transforming a digital design into a tangible prototype is a major milestone in the aircraft manufacturing process. This is where we encounter the real-world challenges of material selection and fabrication. The choice of materials is crucial because it determines weight, strength, and cost. We need materials that are light enough to fly, robust enough to withstand the rigors of flight, and cost-effective enough to make the project viable. Fabrication, on the other hand, 
is where the magic happens. We take our selected materials and using a combination of cutting edge technologies and old school craftsmanship, shape them into the pieces of our prototype. This stage requires a meticulous eye for detail and a deep understanding of how each part contributes to the overall design. Once we have our prototype, it's time to put it to the test. And no, we don't just throw it out of a window and hope for the best. We conduct a series of rigorous tests, each designed to evaluate a specific aspect of the aircraft's performance. One of the most iconic of these tests is wind tunnel testing. Here we simulate the conditions the aircraft will face in flight to assess its aerodynamics. We're looking for a design that slices through the air with minimum resistance, maximizing speed and fuel efficiency. But aerodynamics is just one piece of the puzzle. We also conduct structural analysis to ensure that the aircraft can withstand the stresses of flight. We test the strength of the materials, the resilience of the joints, and the stability of the overall structure. All these tests are conducted with one goal in mind, to ensure that the design is not only feasible, but also safe and efficient. We need to be confident that when our aircraft takes to the skies, it will perform as expected and carry its passengers safely to their destination. Prototyping and testing ensure that the design is not only feasible, but also safe and efficient. Tested and approved, the design is now ready to be brought to life. And how does that happen, you ask? Well, we're about to dive into the fascinating world of manufacturing and assembly. As the name suggests, manufacturing is all about making. But before we can start, we need materials. Procuring the right materials is critical. We're talking about high-grade aluminum for the structure, steel for the engines, and composite materials for the wings. These materials are chosen for their strength, lightweight properties, and resistance to corrosion. Once we have our materials, it's time to fabricate the components. Think of this as the ultimate jigsaw puzzle on a massive scale. Every part from the smallest bolt to the largest wing is meticulously crafted. Precision is key here. Even the tiniest deviation can have significant impacts on performance and safety. But we don't just trust our machines and technicians to get it right. Every single component undergoes rigorous quality control. We check, double check, and triple check everything. Because when you're dealing with something as complex and important as an airplane, there is absolutely no room for error. Now let's move on to assembly. This is where all the parts come together to form the final aircraft. It's a carefully choreographed process with teams of skilled workers fitting together thousands of parts. Engines are mounted, wings are attached, and systems are installed. It's like a symphony where each player knows their part and plays it perfectly. Throughout this process, there's ongoing testing and checking because again, when it comes to airplanes, we can't afford to take chances. The result is a complete ready-to-fly airplane, built to the highest standards of safety and performance. The manufacturing and assembly stage is where the airplane finally takes shape, ready to take to the skies. So the next time you're flying high above the clouds, spare a thought for the incredible process that made it all possible. From an idea to a fully functional airplane, it's time for the final step. This is where the rubber truly meets the runway, the final testing phase. This isn't any ordinary test. It's the culmination of countless hours of design, prototyping, and assembly. It's a rigorous process that pushes the airplane to its limits, replicating the harshest conditions it might face in its lifetime. Now, let's not forget the key players in this stage, our exceptional pilots and tireless engineers. They work in tandem, the pilots expertly maneuvering the aircraft through a series of demanding tasks while the engineers meticulously monitor every aspect of the plane's performance. Each takeoff, each landing, each maneuver is a testament to their skill and dedication. And so with the roar of the engines and the whisper of the wind, the final flight signifies more than just a test. And with that final flight, the process is complete. An idea, born out of necessity and innovation, has now become a reality, ready to take to the skies and beyond.